Hi everyone, welcome to Pulse of the Port. I'm your host, Sean Horish, and today we are aboard the TS Golden Bear, a former Navy survey vessel equipped with sophisticated communications and navigational systems, as well as a crew like no other. Engine company, what time is it? The TS stands for training ship, and the Golden Bear is entirely run by students enrolled at the California Maritime Academy. Before we meet the captain and some of the cadets, let's pay a visit to the Middle Harbor Modernization Project. By far, it is the biggest redevelopment project in the port's history. When complete, it will be a green, job-creating machine. This is the Middle Harbor Modernization Site, a nine-year, $1.2 billion project to create a new 305-acre home for Long Beach Container Terminal and Orient Overseas Container Line, which signed a 40-year lease to operate what will be the greenest and most modern terminal in the world. At $4.6 billion, the deal is the largest of its kind for any U.S. seaport. Cargo handling equipment will be electric, and ships will be able to plug into shore power, dramatically reducing pollution while doubling capacity. Port of Long Beach Senior Program Manager Tom Baldwin is the resident expert on the project, which is well underway. The Port of Long Beach broke ground on this project in February 2011, and we are full steam now, that is for sure. Everywhere you look on this site, you are seeing activity. It used to be in just one spot, maybe two. Now it's everywhere. Tom, tell me about the scope of the work that's going on out here. Scope of work going on out here right now, we have a contractor working on the container yard, we have another contractor working on the landfill, we have several buildings under construction right now, and as you can see, we also have the work work on going. How long is this all going to take place? Are we almost done with this? Well, this northern half of the terminal, basically, it'll be under construction probably for another 12 to 18 months. When they can really get to work, we're looking at probably January 2015 when we'll open the northern portion of the terminal, and then it's going to be probably another four to five years to complete the southern portion of the development. Now, I understand this wharf is about a third of the way complete. It looks to me that they've already got the asphalt down. It looks like you can put a ship up next to it right now. That's correct. This is the first third of the wharf that we've completed, and right now we're expecting to have uh, cranes delivered in November. It's exciting to get to this stage because it's pretty much the final stage of the wharf construction. After they do the asphalt here, they'll do some striping work, but it's pretty much ready to put into operation. Now what's going on behind me right now is some dredging work that needs to be completed over the next three months. They're trying to widen this channel so that one day three 13,000 TEU vessels can be put end to end to end along this wharf. Now check it over here for a size comparison. This vessel over at OOCL right behind me, that is an 8,888 TEU vessel. Could you imagine three 13s back to back? This is one of the massive pile drivers that's been going nuts out here for months. This second section of the wharf will have more than 800 piles alone. Right now, they've driven more than 700 of those, so they're in the home stretch. Behind us here is the northern portion of the wharf. The contractor has just started setting the forms. After this, they're going to be placing the rebar and actually pouring the concrete deck. We expect to have this wharf completed in about 10 months in, in April 2014. And when it's all said and done, it'll be finished with asphalt, just like the southern portion. Now, as far as I'm concerned, this is one of the most amazing parts of the site right now. Everything behind us a year ago was water. And right now, the land is literally rising to meet our feet. What is this going to be, Tom? This is going to be a future container yard area. When it's all said and done, this container yard will be about 150 acres. The rail yard will be another 50 acres or so, but the entire terminal will be about 305 acres. It seems like this is one of the more active parts of the site right now. It's, it's one of the at most active. It's the most critical right now because this is the, the critical path in getting the terminal developed. We have to get this, this landfill completed in order to proceed forward with that development. We're on the second floor of the North Operations Building, which just a few months ago was only a steel skeleton, and now they're putting up drywall in here, and it seems like it's gonna be almost time for folks to move in. Tell us uh, how long that's gonna take. Uh, right now, the project's scheduled to be completed at the end of the year. Right now, we're in warp speed to get this project done. This is significant because it's uh, the first facility that the LBCT needs in order to start moving in their operating people, their clerks, their planners, uh, the people that manage the day-to-day -day operations. So when you look around here, how do you feel about all this? 
I feel pretty good. You know, we're moving along, you know, as fast as we can to get this work completed in order to meet the, the go live date, which is beginning of 2015. Uh, you can really start to see things take shape, and it's a pretty exciting point in the project right now. For complete details on this project, visit polb.com slash Middle Harbor. Perhaps the most striking feature of the Middle Harbor is the 14,000 permanent jobs it will bring to our region when completed. And speaking of jobs, many of the students you see here aboard the TS Golden Bear will be working in the maritime industry after graduation. For more on that, let's hear from Captain Harry Bolton. Well, the California Maritime Academy is part of the California State University system. We offer several programs. The ones that we do on this ship are for licensed deck officers and licensed engine officers that are about to enter the United States Merchant Service or Merchant Marine. We have 320 cadets and then we have 55 officers and staff. The cadets run everything. We just graduated 160. 90% of them had jobs already. It's a well-known fact that the average starting salary is in about the $100,000 range if you're going to go to sea for a living, so that's it's a pretty good incentive to uh, come here and, and graduate. And there is some heavy-duty equipment here aboard the TS Golden Bear. These chains right here are attached to an anchor that weighs between four and five tons. That's big time. And here's the most amazing statistic. Job placement for cadets after graduation within three months usually hovers around 100%. That's pretty big. Stay tuned. 